35. Now, Lexington streets and road crews have been working hard to keep drivers as safe. They've uh, spent several days mapping out how they're going to treat the roads. But there is one big thing complicating their treatment plans. LEX 18 Tiffany Jackson live in downtown Lexington this morning as we continue our Storm Tracker team coverage. Tiffany, good morning. Good morning, Chris and Haley. Yeah, already right about now, we would have already seen salt trucks out on the road, and that's because Lexington streets and roads crews say they can start pre-treating roads about three days before a winter weather event is expected. But right now, let's take a look at the roads up and down Main Street. You can see the reflections. They are all still very wet from all that rain we got yesterday, and it's already started sprinkling a little bit today. And crews simply cannot pre-treat roads when the rain is just going to wash it all away. And with more rain expected in the forecast, they're kind of playing a waiting game right now. While they wait out, they've mapped out exactly how they're going to tackle their routes tonight. Starting this evening, 50 drivers will be put on 12-hour shifts to constantly treat the roads throughout the night and into the weekend. What we do is uh, uh, get out and salt bridges, hills, and overpasses first, and then we start with our ranks. Uh, for example, a rank one would be Nicholasville Road or uh, Harrodsburg Road, you know, our major thoroughfares, and then we work through the plan like that. And once all that precipitation stops, the crews do not. The deputy director actually says their storm preparations and plans actually continue 24 to 36 hours after precipitation stops. So they'll be out treating those main roads over and over again throughout the weekend. Covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom, 